Rebecca, welcome back to my channel. Geology is a popular academic subject on the TOEFL exam. So today I would like to share essential vocabulary for a common topic in geology class, plate tectonics. Plate tectonics is the theory that Earth's surface is made up of these moving pieces that kind of look like jigsaw puzzles. The study of tectonic plates includes how the plates move, the effects of their movement, and land formation on the surface of Earth. The layer that moves is referred to as the lithosphere, which contains the crust and part of the upper mantle. It sort of floats on top of the asthenosphere, which is molten rock like lava. Now the Earth is made up of four major layers, the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. You'll hear a lot about Earth's crust on the TOEFL exam. The crust is found on the surface of Earth, and it's made up of the oceanic crust, which is covered by water, and the continental crust, which sits just below land. Earth's crust consists of major plates and minor plates that are about 100 kilometers thick, which means it would take about an hour drive at highway speed to get to the bottom of the plates from the surface of Earth. Movement of these plates takes place at the boundaries, and they can cause volcanoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, and climate change. There are three types of plate boundaries, convergence, divergence, and transform. At convergent boundaries, one plate is forced underneath another in a process called subduction. This creates mountains and volcanoes like the Himalayas and deep trench in the ocean like the Mariana Trench. At divergent boundaries, plates move apart, which can create rift valleys on land or ridges in the ocean. At transform boundaries, plates rub against each other laterally, which can create earthquakes like at the San Andreas Fault. Movement of tectonic plates is very important in the geological history of Earth. For example, the continents are believed to once have been connected as one giant landmass called the Pangaea around 250 million years ago, and then slowly moved apart due to the movement of tectonic plates. Speaking of continents, it's also essential for you to recognize the name of the seven continents and five oceans. So let's do a really quick review. Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America and South America. As for the five oceans, we have Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Southern Ocean, and Arctic Ocean. Movement of tectonic plates is also essential in the formation of the Earth's terrain. Terrain focuses on the natural features of an area of land. On the TOEFL exam, you'll encounter many words that relate to the Earth's terrain, landform, and topography. Topography is a study of the forms and features of land surfaces, especially the physical shape. Some natural topographical features that you'll hear or read about on the TOEFL exam include volcanoes, mountains, hills, valleys, plains, gullies, ridges, oceans, rivers, springs, streams, lakes, and swamps. Familiarize yourselves with these basic geology-related vocabulary, and they should help you better grasp some of the popular topics that you'll hear or read about on TOEFL's geology passages. Good luck in your TOEFL preparation. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.